Hello everybody and welcome back to the Tez Challenges number two play button. If you click anything else, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So we're currently at a 43 degree angle. I'm gonna just get it. Put her at 40. So we have to go right to left, not left to right. Who'd have figured? Alright, now we start. Basically, gonna put it at 40. We're gonna head almost straight for the buoy. Easier to modify later than it is now. These guys are pulling a lot of things. Would you stop that? Perfect, 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 perfect. Would you stop adjusting it to the same place? Seriously. Thank you. Apparent wind angle is only 35, so we're not doing great on that. We're doing six knots though, so that is good. I think the wind kind of shifted a little bit. All right, we gotta go around the buoy to the left. I can't see. Uh, this should be a pretty safe place to stand, actually. Jeez, we just stalled out. Let's get some wind, get some speed. Oh, she's tricky. It's a little tricky to sail up wind. Who would have figured? Right? Alright. We got a little map going right there. We should pass just barely to the left of it. Only doing 32 apparent wind angle. So it's a little shallow. So we probably want to increase that a little bit. We're doing 5.8 knots, 5.7. See if we can pick up any more speed with a higher than 40 wind angle. Nope. All we're doing is increasing the distance. So we're going to go a little bit more into the wind. We're actually getting more speed, which is wrong. Then we're going to have to go right again, which means we can hide this and sail based on the stuff we can't see. Why is this fuzzy? Seriously, everything is fuzzy except for these gauges. That bothers me. That bothers me. Alright, we're here. Nope, we gotta fully go around it. No, got to get around it first. Alright, that should be good. Make our turn. Go the other way. Head for the right side of that buoy. Trying to get a little bit more speed. We're doing three knots and picking up. Four. It's five. Not bad. So it seems like 30 for whatever reason is my best. Whoa, whoa. I passed that. Okay, there you go. Now you update it. That was weird. Alrighty. Now it doesn't let me control all the sheets, which is kind of annoying me, but eh, it's fine. Basically, we're steering left and right and hoping that we get in. So, if we look down here on the map, there's the angle that the boat's going at. There's the angle that we're going, basically our true path, where we're actually going, or calibrated path, where we're actually going. Then there's the buoy path. So, as long as the dotted line is 
Oh, we gotta go the other way. As long as it's on the right side of the buoy, then we should be good. Oh, I've gotta sail directly upwind after this one? Hmm. Gonna have to work that. We're doing five knots. 5.1. So we're increasing speed. 5.4. Wow. I did not realize that we were doing so badly. So on this one, we're gonna have to actually tack left and right to get up there. There's actually no real reason to tack yet. We're just gonna stay on this course. Where's the end? Is this the end? Yeah, no, so I gotta go directly upwind. So we're gonna actually stay on our right hand tack for now. It's a long ways. And we're basically gonna make it so it's about 30, 40 degrees. And we're just gonna tack our way all the way up. Yeah. We're in six knots, it's pretty good. At 36 degrees, am I gonna get any more if I go a little right? No. I'm gonna come a little left, just kind of maintain that six in a 36 degree apparent wind angle. There's almost, eh, yeah, there's 15 degree difference between the two. Then instead of going all the way over and praying the wind doesn't change, we're gonna kind of stay close to that center line. It's attacking. Increase that wind angle. True wind speed is 13. We're doing 5 knots. Seems like 6 is about as many as we get. So 30 degrees is probably good. Eh, too little. 5.4. So we both have to balance the angle that we're going up at. And the speed. So sometimes we can go faster sideways, but if we're just literally going 90 degrees left and right, that's not any faster. So they said keep it above 40. We're currently at 30, and we're doing 5.6, 5.5 knots. 5.4. So if we're at 40, 5, 7, 8, 9, 6. So we got about half a knot and 10 degrees. So I guess we'll keep it 40-ish. Problem is we're 40 from upwind, so it's gonna take a little while. The wind's really not shifting much. It does a little bit, but it's not shifting much. So, we shall continue onwards. I wish I could control my own sails. Also, this buzz that's going on I don't know if this is just low render options or what, but this looks terrible. And I think it's just render options. So we're gonna attack again pretty soon. Go over to the other side, hit a rough 40. Actually, let's go GPS. BTW is 24 degrees. So when we hit about 40, yeah, when we hit 40, we'll swap over to that. When this hits 40. Time to go. Two hours if we continue on this. Oh, negative one second. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Six, 37, 38, 39, 40. Tacking. Now we're going to swap over to 40 and head directly there. If we head 42, we'll get exactly there. So we've got a little bit of extra. Take a minute 55 and we're still accelerating. At 39, 41 to hit the buoys. Wish I could stand up taller. That would help a lot. 39 will get us there. What the? 
the wind shift. So either we can come in, lose a couple knots, minute and a half, lose a lot of speed actually. Go like this, minute and a half, yeah, versus another attack, I think this will be good. <sighs> was not quite what I was looking for. We healed over and it just did not like it. Yeah, we lost a full knot there. So either we can aim directly towards it, because we undershot, or we can do another tack. Another tack might have been smarter. So every time you tack, you lose that full time to turn around, but you can stay more on center line in case the wind shifts dramatically. Which if the wind shifts, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, so... Who knows? We're losing speed because I had to turn to get through the middle of this. Still gonna have to turn a little bit. Just go this way. Look and see if the boat's gonna go through it. Yeah, this fuzz. No. Get rid of that fuzz, please. I would like to actually see my sailboat, not just fuzz. I don't know what it is. I think it's from the tutorial menu. Like, because the menu fuzzes out like this. But it really shouldn't be. Yeah, we're in terrible condition right there. But we can't modify it. And that was the end of it. Spin and circle. We completed it. That took 12 minutes. Alright. I don't want to make this video too long, so I think next time, I'm not quitting the challenge, we finished it. It just doesn't recognize that we finished it. It's annoying. Please recognize. Anyways, there's a lot of problems with this game, but it's kind of proven a little fun. Anyways, I think that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully, you like seeing tacking. Just going up wind back and forth and me not being able to calculate 40 degrees. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys in the next video.